Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Adam Cellini. Topping our news tonight, an alert for drivers out there. A multiple vehicle crash delaying uh, traffic along I-75. Let's take a look at the first alert traffic where you can see that red right there on the interstate. Those collisions between Laurel Road East and State Road 681 blocking the left lane northbound near Venice. If heading in that direction, you are advised to avoid the area. Well, Monday solar eclipse, but not, excuse me, Monday will be a solar eclipse, but it's not about what, uh, how it will affect your daily activities. Experts weighing in today on whether the temporary darkness will be enough to cause issues for wildlife. ABC 7's Erica Jackson joins us live from Save Our Seabirds Rescue and Rehabilitation Center in Sarasota to tell us more about the possible disturbances to wildlife. Erica? Good evening, Adam. The birds here at Save Our Seabirds won't really be affected by the solar eclipse since they're fed on a schedule. But as the skies grow darker tomorrow, it may cause some confusion for birds out in the wild. I actually plan to look at it through the trees since we didn't get glasses. They say you can see it through the shadows to the trees on the ground. Andrea Smith is getting ready for Monday's solar eclipse. She knows not to look up at the sun without eye protection, but has some theories about how birds will react when the moon covers the sun for a few hours. They'll probably just actually go into the trees and roost. That's a standard thing for birds in all weathers, so I would expect that. We're not concerned here at all about the effect the eclipse is going to have on birds. Hi, have you come to see some wild birds today? Lauren Driggs is a greeter and educator at Save Our Seabirds Rescue and Rehabilitation Center. She tells us birds live according to long cycles, like seasons, and short cycles, like day and night. Many birds might think it's time to sleep when the partial solar eclipse passes through, and nocturnal birds might start hunting. The owls and the other nocturnal birds are going to start getting more active and say, oh, night is coming on, time to start going outside and seeing what we can find for dinner. Birds like hawks and vultures use thermals, columns of hot air, to soar and don't even have to flap their wings while looking for prey. Here in Florida, there's no drastic difference in temperature between day and night. But for areas like the desert, where that difference is more noticeable, it's more likely to impact wildlife. Thermals may disappear in areas where uh, that temperature difference happens. When it gets suddenly dark, it will get noticeably cooler and the thermals might disappear. So those birds might just suddenly land. Smith realizes the birds will adjust as the partial solar eclipse rolls through. Her challenge will be explaining safety issues to her own young relatives. It's really hard to tell like three and six year olds that we have that they can't look at the sun. A lot of people are asking if their pets will be safe during the eclipse. We spoke to a veterinarian at the Braden River Animal Hospital in Manatee County, and he tells us there's nothing to worry about. You can let your pets go outside as usual, and if anything, your pets will just think it's a cloudy day outside. Reporting live in Sarasota, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you very much, Erica. And while that eclipse is safe for your pets, it doesn't mean they can't look the part along with you. Some veterinarians say while they are unnecessary, eclipse glasses are perfectly safe and fine to put on your pets, especially if you're looking for some cute selfies. And now let's head over to Wendy Ross for our first alert weather forecast. And Wendy, will Winston be rocking a <laughs> pair of glasses uh, tomorrow? I just had a mental vision of that, and it's just too funny. No, 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 he's not going to. My husband would never allow that. <laughs> That's not going to happen. But at any rate, we are looking at a couple of clouds and some rain showers out there right now, even some thunderstorms taking place, especially around the coastline at this time. Bradenton reporting 85 degrees and thunderstorms. Sarasota, lots and so of sunshine there and Venice just had some showers just a little while ago. You can see all the cloud cover building up along the coastline right now with partly cloudy clearing skies well to the east. But what we've got is some very strong showers that have developed along the coast and they're moving offshore rather rapidly and so they are going to move on out. And We do have some more rain that's building east and it's all moving in this direction. We're getting some lightning strikes here as well that you can see and so just keep in mind We've got all of this to get through before the night is over, but it's not going to be a real event tonight. We're just going to be getting these showers to come on through, and most of the heavy things, most of those heavy rain showers have already moved out into the Gulf of Mexico. We let you know what's going to happen for tomorrow as far as our forecast is concerned. I can see you, Adam. I can see you. 
We'll Look. be right back. Looking good there, Wendy. Way to start preparing now. Well, back to more solar eclipse news. It will be happening during the middle of, uh, of work and school days on Monday. Both the Sarasota and Manatee County School Districts have been planning accordingly. The partial eclipse is expected to take place on the Sun Coast between the hours of 1.15 and 4.15. In Manatee County, all outdoor activities during those hours will be moved indoors for schools. School officials worried about students looking at the sun without the proper eye protection. Principals and staff will keep bus and car Car riders indoors until their buses or cars arrive and all parents are being asked to talk to their children about the dangers of looking directly at the sun and in Sarasota County all outdoor activities will also be moved indoors during those peak hours parents will need to sign permission slips before students can participate in eclipse activities and early dismissals will be allowed and excused well, if you missed the chance to get a pair of those coveted solar glasses for the eclipse, you can look no further than your own kitchen pantry. Cereal boxes can be transformed into projectors to view that eclipse safely without looking up at the sun. All you need is a box, scissors, a piece of white paper, aluminum foil, and some tape. And for full instructions on how to put together that projection box, you can go to our website, mysuncoast.com. And of course, ABC7 will be bringing you continuous coverage on the solar eclipse throughout the weekend and on Monday. You can also send us your own pictures and videos for, of that eclipse experience by using the hashtag suncoasteclipse. We're now turning our attention to an active death investigation happening down in Charlotte County. At least one person is dead tonight following reports of a disturbance on 11th Avenue in Englewood near Florida Street. The Charlotte County Sheriff's Office is investigating that scene. However, it is unclear at this time what might have been the cause of that death. Looked outside, it was a cop car right in the corner by the stop sign here. So I said, okay, I kind of looked around and about a couple minutes later, there was like 10 cop cars and a bunch of fire trucks and ambulances. Um, deputies say there is no danger to the public at this time and multiple people were transported away from that crime scene in an ambulance. A Central Florida community is more continues to mourn tonight following the death of two police officers shot in the line of duty. The investigation continuing into what happened on Friday that led to the deaths of Officer Matthew Baxter and Sergeant Sam Howard. The man accused Everett Miller making his first court appearance today, a judge denying Miller bond, citing probable cause for his first degree murder charge. Meanwhile, authorities are also on the lookout for a person of interest in the case, Maribel Gonzalez King, who is known to frequent the area where that shooting took place. A neighboring county on the Sun Coast is looking to crack down harder on the opioid epidemic in the state with the use of technology. Collier County Sheriff's Office is now the first in Florida to start utilizing software to track fatal and non-fatal heroin overdoses. This technology was created to track first responders on a real-time map that shows where drug overdoses are occurring. This tech will help deputies recognize drug abusing trends faster nationwide. More than 145 agencies are currently using this mapping program. A discussion on change taking place on the Sun Coast earlier today among several local activists who are trying to identify what needs to change in our area and what they want to see at the national level. Their discussion preceding two days of for, uh, excuse me, forums and workshops at Howard University in Washington, D.C., where groups from all over the country will gather to discuss ways to spark activism in the nation on September 17th. We want to know here locally how people feel. We want to know what the local activists and organizers think needs to happen on the national level and on the local level. That way we can bring our ideas about the Congress and about the resistance movement to Washington, D.C. The discussion in Sarasota this afternoon focusing on health, food, shelter, and education. Well, Sarasota will soon be taking a step back in time. The Sarasota Medieval Fair gearing up once again for its annual event. Dozens of entertainers coming out to the Sarasota Fairgrounds this weekend to try their luck at landing a role as a character, getting the crowds into the fun. 
it's a completely different scenario every year. So you're put in a different position and you have to make or are placed with a new character every year. It's just a lot of fun. First of all, it's a great group. We just have a wonderful time bouncing off each other with different improvising skits and it really brings out a good side of you in a good group of people. The Medieval Fair kicks off at the Sarasota Fairgrounds on November 4th and runs on select days through November 19th. Well, still to come here on ABC7, a popular comedian, actor, and singer passes away. A look back on the remarkable life of Jerry Lewis. And where will you be during tomorrow's solar eclipse? A list of places on the Sun Coast holding watch parties. Stick around. This is an important medical announcement. Bard IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a Bard IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. Call to see if you qualify to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan right now. At Humana, we believe great things are ahead of you when you start with healthy. And part of staying healthy means choosing the right Medicare plan. Humana can help. With original Medicare, you're covered for hospital stays and doctor office visits when you're sick, but keep in mind you'll have to pay a deductible for each. A Medicare supplement plan can cover your deductibles and coinsurance, but you may pay higher premiums than you do with other plans, and prescription drug coverage isn't included. But with an all-in-one Humana Medicare Advantage plan, you could get all that coverage plus Part D prescription drug benefits, all for an affordable monthly plan premium, and in some areas, no plan premium. It's all described in this free book in DVD. Call for yours and discover how an all-in-one Medicare Advantage plan from Humana could save you money. Call 1-800-558-8779. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt-free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now. Make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422. 800-685-6422. Welcome back. Comedian, actor, and singer Jerry Lewis has died at the age of 91. Lewis is best known for his work with actor Dean Martin and his famous fundraising telethons. ABC's Brandy Hit takes a look back at Lewis's legendary life. Jerry Lewis defined comedy as a man in trouble. The gags and pratfalls were the foundation of his career. Why do we laugh at the man slipping on the banana peel? They have it for the grace of God go on. Raised in Irvington, New Jersey, the son of showbiz parents, Lewis had perfected a comic routine by the age of 15. Five years later, he found the perfect foil in Dean Martin. Now this is my partner, Seymour. Martin and Lewis made 17 movies together, including At War with the Army. And you know what you promised my mother. Stop hitting my desk. And what did I promise your mother? That no one would harm a hair on my head. You mean both heads. And the caddy. Give me the driver. 
Lewis always played the spastic buffoon, Martin, the good-looking straight man. The formula was a hit with audiences, but this would be their last film together. After 10 years, Martin had tired of his role, and the partnership broke up. Lewis was soon making and directing his own movies. In The Nutty Professor, he played the clumsy and hopelessly inept Professor Kelp. Class dismissed. Hailed as a comic genius by the French, Lewis was condemned by American critics for being juvenile and predictable. Sure, it hurts. Of course it hurts. But with all the criticism, all you have to do is look at the positives, and it buries the criticism in a minute. And the positives were many. Lewis enjoyed success as a singer and stand-up comic. What are you smoking, sweat socks? He appeared on Broadway in Damn Yankees, and later in life enjoyed a renaissance in serious films like The King of Comedy. I have a gun. at my head. But it was his role for more than half a century as spokesman for the Muscular Dystrophy Association, his job hosting the annual telethon and raising millions of dollars that he took most seriously. Beat that sucker and keep at it until I can't walk, unless I'm not here anymore. For his charity work, Lewis was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize and awarded the French Legion of Honor. Asked once why he did it, the comic who throughout his life played versions of a character he called the kid said simply that he empathized with children. You never Brandy Hit, ABC News, Los Angeles. And another fellow comedian and civil rights activist, Dick Gregory, also passing away this weekend. His family announcing the death on Saturday night, saying that he passed away in Washington, D.C., and that more details will be released in the coming days. Gregory gained notoriety in the early 1960s as one of the first African-American comics to perform for white audiences. But Gregory was not content to simply tell jokes. He used his fame to advocate for civil rights. Gregory was in the middle of a comedy tour this month when he fell ill. He was 84 years old. So two men who use that fame kind of for the greater good there. Yeah, they really did. And we'll miss them. Yeah. That's something else. Well, we are looking at hot hot weather out there once again. We had another hot summer day with our temperatures climb, climbing right back up into the 90s. And right now we're starting to see some breaks in those clouds. We had some pretty strong showers that moved on through earlier. Nothing severe, of course, but we did have some wet weather that flared up right along the coastline and then moved on out fairly quickly out into the Gulf of Mexico. Right now it's 85 degrees at the airport. Dew point humidity levels are moderate. Winds are out of the east-southeast and they're strong at 18 miles per hour. Today we got up to a high of 93. The overnight low was 77. So you can see that on average we're a lot cooler than that and especially for the overnight low period. And what we've got going on is this. We've got an upper level low pressure system that is moving across the Gulf of Mexico towards Texas. And what it did was it helped to bring in all of this moisture in its wake, which is now moving across the state of Florida. And it's that moisture that we're experiencing right now and moving out into the Gulf of Mexico. Now you'll notice too that we had all of this drier weather that sat on top of us yesterday. And we are going to get more dry weather coming on in just in time for tomorrow and Tuesday. But we have the tropical systems well out in the Atlantic that will be having an impact on our forecast over the next couple of days. So rain is going to come back into the forecast. So we're going to see dry and then more moisture and then dry again. That's the way it's going to be over the next couple of days. And you can see the showers that I'm talking about. They've already moved out into the Gulf of Mexico, but they formed very quickly right along the coastline and then they moved offshore. And most of the rain forming and thunderstorms forming just off the coastline with some lighter bands of rain just along the coast. And we still have to get through all of this before the night is over. And then we're going to be looking at fair skies to partly cloudy skies later on tonight. So we still have Harvey and we still have two systems out in the Atlantic that we're going to look at. Harvey continues to move on towards the west. It did not become a tropical storm today as we had, th had thought yesterday. It is moving towards the west at 20 miles per hour and it will continue to move well, not being a problem for us, but well across the central South America and also the Yucatan Peninsula moving into the Gulf of Mexico by Wednesday or Thursday. In the meantime, Invest 92 
is this system here, and now we have another system located east of it, and it has a 10% chance of developing over the next five days. But this system, Invest 92, is going to continue to move on towards the northwest. This is where the tracks are taking it right now, getting very close to the state of Florida, if not right over the state of Florida. And so this is a wait and see situation, but it's going to help to bring back the moisture for our area just in time for the middle part of this upcoming week through the weekend. So we're going to see our rain chances increase pretty much over the Wednesday through Sunday period. So for tomorrow, some clouds for the eclipse, but not a whole lot with the scattered showers. It's just going to be hot with any showers developing being widely scattered, and our heat index is going to go back up to 100 degrees. So it's going to be another hot, hot day tomorrow, and we are going to feel as though it's 100 degrees. That's the heat index. The actual temperature, 92. We're not even calling for rain chances. They'll be very, very low, and on Tuesday, that 30% chance is in, and then the moisture comes right back on Wednesday. Adam? Now, sports. Tampa Bay Rays rookie sensation Jacob Faria will miss his scheduled start later this week as he heads to the disabled list. According to ESPN, the team announced the decision to place Faria on the 10-day DL with a left abdominal strain before Sunday's game against the Mariners. Chris Archer will be moving up a spot in the rotation and now start Tuesday's game against Toronto. Faria has been sensational since he was called up back in June, striking out 77 batters over 78 innings, but he has struggled this month, losing his last last three starts. Blake Snell got the start Sunday for the Rays. He has been sensational this month, and he strikes out Carlos Ruiz on a full count. And Jesus Sucre throws out Ben Gamble at second, and Sucre showing the teammates that the gun is hot. Shortstop Adani Echeverria also having himself a day two for three with a two-run homer in the seventh inning that put Tampa Bay up three to nothing. And then later on in the ninth inning, it's Echeverria making the spectacular diving stop and throw to get Nelson Cruz at first for the last out of the game. The Rays avoid the sweep, winning three nothing at home. They improve to 61 and 65 on the season. Plenty more to come here on ABC7. Stay with us. Consumer Cellular makes it easy to stay in touch with family and stay within our budget. Now our cell phone bill is only a fraction of what it used to be. Our average customers get everything they need for about $25 a month, and plans start at only $10 a month with no contracts. Consumer Cellular has a great choice of phones. Check out my new one. I picked this simple phone. I use my son's old smartphone. Kept my number, too. Consumer Cellular has been an approved AARP provider since 2008, and members get exclusive discounts. It's a good thing Consumer Cellular is always there, because sometimes I need a little help. Sometimes. We're proud to have received the J.D. Power Award for highest customer service among non-contract wireless providers. Over the years, we've seen a lot of change. We actually use change. Luckily, there are some things we can still afford. Like Consumer Cellular. Stop paying too much for wireless service. Switch now and for a limited time, get a $20 credit on any new line of service. Call 1-800-920-3084. Go online or visit a Target store today. 40 million. That's the number of free phones still available and the number of how many Americans can still get prescriptions free. Free could be wonderful. That's why I'm still working at 77 years old to pay off my prescriptions. I needed to have a, a prescription filled and I had to leave because I couldn't afford it. Call now and see what's available for you. Free prescriptions. Over 10 million people get prescriptions free and the program has expanded so another 40 million can. Free dental. Over 15,000 dentists have provided over $330 million in free dental work. Free cell phones. 40 million free cell phones are still available with free minutes and more. Free cell phone would change my life right now because it is something I cannot afford to get. Medical supplies like back braces, knee braces, and diabetic supplies may be covered too. The free RX Plus hotline has saved callers over $12 million on their prescription costs. These free programs are now available to 40 million more people. Call now. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. 
We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. ABC7, your official Florida lottery station for the Sun Coast. Well, you might want to go grab a Powerball ticket because nobody matched all six numbers for Saturday night's Powerball drawing, and the jackpot was at $541 million, but that prize has now gone up to an estimated $650 million. The current jackpot has been growing since June. There have been 21 straight drawings without a winner. The next drawing will happen on Wednesday night, and don't forget, you can see if you are a winner right here on ABC7. We'll have those numbers during our 11 o'clock newscast. And if you're not working or don't have to go to school and you want to find a nice spot to watch that partial eclipse here on the Sun Coast tomorrow, there are several places locally holding special events for viewers. Selby Gardens will be one of them holding a watch party, while DeSoto National Park in Bradenton and Oscar Shear State Park in Osprey will be having a total eclipse of the park party. And for a few other eclipse viewing options, you can visit our website, mysuncoast.com. we got a couple more listed, or just walk outside. And, or just watch it. You're going to be able to watch it on our station. We're oh, going to have true. all of that. You don't two, have, we have to two worry about your eyes at all. My goodness. <laughs> we got Scalzi and Newman out there in the world. <laughs> They'll be bringing it from the line of totality.